Okay, this question is about the Young modulus. It's an experiment to determine the Young modulus of a wire. Um, feel free to pause this video and read the question. So, it's giving us some information. It's asking us to describe a graphical method that the student can do to obtain the value for the Young modulus. Now, from, from the question, we get some information. Uh, it says that the initial length of the wire is measured. So initial length, that will be x or x0. Then the slotted weights are known. So the weights that we add are known. The weight is a type of force, so therefore we have the force that we apply on this wire. Then every time the weight, a new weight is added, uh, the marker over here moves, and then we can measure the new length and therefore we can calculate the extension therefore the extension is known as well and we need to find a way to calculate the young modulus now some background information um, a reminder that the young modulus is equal to stress over strain so we remember that stress is the force applied on the wire over its area and then the strain is the extension over the original length now if we need to find the young modulus then we need to kind of divide stress over strain but it has to be a graphical method so we need to use a graph so there's two ways of doing this to find the, the Young modulus. I'm going to describe both. So method one, if we look at this formula, therefore we should know that the Young modulus will be given by a graph where I plot stress against strain. So it will give me a straight line and then I can use the gradient of this line to find the Young modulus. Right, but what do I need to do in order to calculate stress and strain? So from this equation, we are given the force, the weights I added, we know that. We don't know the area of the, of the wire, the cross-section area of the wire. We know the extension, we can calculate the extension, and we can also, we also know the initial length. So the only missing information here is, is the cross-section area of the wire. So before I do anything else, I need to start by doing this. I need to measure the, uh, the diameter of the wire in order to calculate the cross-sectional area. So measure the diameter of the wire. Now, in order to do that, we use a micrometer. Um, if this question comes into Unit 3, then most likely it's going to be asking you to explain the to, you, to, tell, to mention the equipment that you're using. And also a reminder that if we do this experiment in class, we usually measure the diameter in three different positions of the wire and we find the, the average. But in this case, we just need to mention that we are measuring the diameter. And then using that diameter, of course, we need to calculate, we calculate the, the cross-section area. All right, how do we do that? It's a circle, therefore it's pi t over 2 squared. And that, of course, will give us d squared over 4. All right, so we're getting the diameter. We're using that to calculate the, the area. And therefore, we will have all the information we need to then calculate the stress, force divided by area, so calculate stress sigma, and then we need to calculate the strain E. So these values will be for every time we add a new weight, then we get a different stress, different strain. Therefore, we're going to have a table with values of stress and strain, and we're going to use that to plot the graph. All right, so once we plot the graph, and then you, we can find the gradient, we can find the gradient, which is equal to the Young modulus. And this is the first way of, of doing it. 
Now for the second way, if we put these two equations into the starting one, then we get force divided by area equals extension over original length. I'm just going to make this into a simple fraction. So therefore, that will be uh, force times original length divided by extension times area. So once again, we have most of the values except area. So for method two, I'm just going to erase some of these things over here. So for method two, what do we have? We're going to plot the weight or the force against the extension. We will still need to measure the diameter. We will still need to calculate the area. And then if we look at the, the formula that we got, E equals F x extension and area what will the gradient give us in that case so the gradient will be f over extension so the gradient is giving us this part of the formula therefore we need to multiply the gradient times uh, the initial length And we need to divide that by the area. So that will be method two. So any of these methods will give you full marks.